you know what? You don't meet that many people in the streets like the way you look, but you certainly have a, a an interesting look. And uh, I guess you're a professed believer in Jesus, right? I am. Great. Yes. The show is called Have You Experienced Jesus? Uh -huh. And um, I wanted to ask you, how do you know Jesus? How do I know Jesus? Well, he's my older brother. We are all spiritual offspring of, of God, our Heavenly Father. What does and, that mean by older brother? Um, well, Jesus is, he has his father, his father in heaven. And he is a spiritual offspring, a child of God, just as we are. Okay. And so my, that's why I say he is our older brother. We're, we're all children of God. How do you become a child of God? Just by being here. Um, okay. we're, we're all children of, of our Heavenly Father. Um, whether you decide to believe in Him or believe in His Son, Jesus Christ, is, is up to you. That's a, a personal choice. In the, um, in the scriptures, in the Bible, and I'm referring to the Bible, uh -huh. it's John, uh, John 1, 12, 13. It says that once you receive Him, Jesus, that you become, through your belief, uh -huh. that you become born of God, that you become a child of God at the time that you put your faith, your trust, and you believe in Him. Right. But the Bible tells us that that's the moment that we truly become a child of God through our belief. Do you believe uh -huh. that? Uh, it's partially, yeah. Uh, we that's when we become um, believers of Him, like it's being born again of the Spirit. Yeah, that we are born of God at that point. Right. Yeah. Well, that's when you become one of His disciples, one of His followers. So we become uh, the children of God at that uh -huh. time. That's what it's just. Well, I, I believe that, that we're, we're always children of God, but when you accept Him and and believe in him then you're kind of in his fold okay yeah and it's also what's really interesting that it tells us after we are born of god we become adopted uh -huh. adopted in his family meaning that we are also adopted as as a jewish jewish faith a jewish okay you know it we're we're in essence like a jew jewish person because of that we go back and accept uh uh -huh. uh, his life and what he's done and, and that he paid for all our sins on the cross. Right. Now, um, the question I have is, do you feel that you're saved right now with Jesus? Um, in what form? Uh, if, if, you, if you die today, uh -huh. but if you die today, this moment, that you'd be with him? Sure. You do? Uh-huh. Why do you believe that? Um, well, because of the atonement. Of, of God, the, the of Christ, his his atonement is for all people, yeah. and and it's it's not for just the 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 Jew, but it's also for the Gentile, Gentile. the Gentile, yeah. the non-believer. His atonement is for all people. Yes. And when we die, we're still children of God, and. Christ also said, if you love me, keep my commandments. And he gave us this, this road to follow. Yeah. And if, if we follow that road, it's, it's not, we're damned if we don't, but we're blessed if we do. Got it. And so the commandments aren't there to condemn us, they're there to bless us. Okay. And to keep us out of trouble. And So what are the commandments to you that you follow? Um, well, number one is, is to love the Lord with all of our hearts, mind, and soul, and to love our neighbor. Great. That is the greatest commandment. Yes. Um, also, charity. Charity is um, a way of life that emulates God. I mean, he came here, he didn't walk with the, the saints, he walked with the sinners. Yeah, and, You're right. And that's what he sent his disciples to do, is to go out and talk to anybody. Yeah, and, the and ungodly. To, yeah. Right. We're, yeah, which we're all are, condemned of sin, right? All of us. Well, are we're sinners. all. Yeah. The yeah. natural man is, yeah. is an enemy to God, Absolutely. and and to understand God, you have to understand Him through the Spirit, and it's through receiving the Spirit of Christ or the Holy Ghost that you become knowledgeable of Him yeah. and and to try to be like Him. Do you think He is the only door for salvation? As far as we're concerned, yes. Yeah. So do you believe that there's any church or any religion or any denomination 
that you must go to in order to get to Jesus? Um, well, he said it best when he said, straight is the way and narrow is the gate and few there be that find it. Yeah. He himself was baptized. Yeah. And so, yes, there there is a way. He set the example. He is known as the way. He is the way. Did he not, he right. said that, right? Right. And, and the says, reason also, why... I am the truth. Yeah, the truth and the light. Yeah. The light is knowledge. Yeah. Um, the And the life. And, yeah. and life. Um, why did he go to John the Baptist? Yeah. Because John the Baptist held the priesthood. He had the authority to baptize him. And even he had to set the example and be baptized himself. So that's why he says straight is the way, narrow is the gate. Do you think he actually set the example? Do you, uh -huh. Or do you believe that he fulfilled the law and then he came to show us that now that he was the last prophet and that now he is our prophet. He is our high priest. Um, he did both. He, he set the example. He uh, um, had to fulfill the law. And when you think of what a prophet is, a prophet is um, like Ezekiel and, and uh, Moses Noah, and Noah. Moses, Noah. Yeah. Samuel. Right. Um, Isaiah. They, they received knowledge or, or revelation for the world. Yes. And I, I don't see any reason why that has stopped. God said, I am the same today, tomorrow, and forever. And because of that, he continues to lead and direct his people through prophets. So um, you believe that the prophet is, is actually needed? You don't think that Jesus is, is our final prophet, that when he died on the cross for us, that he said, it is finished? Meaning that now everything that was done in the past, the prophets were telling who he was, uh, of the Messiah, that it is finished, and now we just go through him, his son, his yeah. son only. You don't that's, believe that? that? Well, that's one way to interpret it. You know, yeah. to say it is finished. Um, but he did everything for us. We don't have to go through anything else outside. Right. The only way through God, our only way to God, is through Jesus Christ. Yeah. When he said it was finished, I I believe that his work on earth, his example, the things that he told us, he he was sent here to ransom our souls, to to pay yeah. the ultimate price for salvation and yeah. and for the the atonement. Yeah. And when he said it, it is finished, I believe that that his work here on earth was finished. And and then he's he, one of the things that he said is, you know, I have other sheep which are not of this fold that I must go visit. And he did that as, as well, because we're all children of God. And he set the, the perfect example for all of us. Yeah. And, and uh, when he says, you know, if you love me, keep my commandments, I am the way. Um, I am the truth, I'm life. And, and yeah. so we believe as Christians, we believe that um, he is the only way, that anybody can, can have this incredible experience of him. Uh -huh. If they really believe in his work, not sure. our works, right. meaning that we have to prove to God, in essence, to show him that we have to, you know, we have to do all these things to obtain his grace, obtain his salvation, uh -huh. um, that we have to put our faith in him. And then when we're actually uh, connected with him through the spirit, right. we go out through works of love and we do we become disciples of right life. that's that's the gospel i think that's the good news and we're liberated liberated from bondage mm -hmm. um jesus talked a lot about bondage right you, you know he talked a lot in, in the well, reason bondage why, is sin you know the, the well, bondage is law bondage that he referred a lot of is laws uh -huh. uh, galatians if you want to read a great book uh, galatians is an amazing book to, to talk about what sure. the law is based on that the law was a schoolmaster for us it was a tutor uh -huh. and then christ came and he fulfilled the law, so now we go through him and him alone right. to obtain he's this our savior. law of love. Yeah, he is yeah. our savior. And he's our savior. He's our redeemer. Do you believe that Jesus is God too? Sure. You do? Okay, great. Yeah. yeah. So he's a physical God in flesh. Uh -huh. Do you believe that? Okay. Yeah. Well, he, he, yeah. Yeah. We were all, he, he is our older brother. Um, we were created in his likeness. And, and Moses. Um, at the burning bush, he says, and, and Moses spoke to God face to face as one man speaks to another. He, he is our father. We are his children. Do you believe the, the God of the Old Testament is, was Jesus? The, the Old Testament speaks of Jesus, 
but the God of the Old Testament is his father, God, the father. So you don't believe that the God of the Old Testament is actually Jesus? I believe You believe that, it was the father rather than Jesus? And he sent his son for the atonement to make the way for it, repentance, because without him we can't repent. When Jesus claimed that he said that I am, before Abraham was I am, meaning uh -huh. that he was a great I am, and the, the God of the Old Testament, when he prophesies right. and he says, you know, to Moses, he says, tell the Israelites that I am who I am sent right. you. Well, my, you Mosiah and, and, and Isaiah spoke of him. So do you believe that, that that God of the Old Testament, Jesus was foretelling us that he was truly the God of the Old Testament? You, you, so you don't believe it's that? It's tied together. It's, it's tied together. You you have God the Father and God the His Son, Son God the Holy Spirit, His Son yeah. Jesus Christ, and then the Holy Ghost. Yeah. And the Holy Ghost is how He how we communicate. It's the okay. Spirit of God because yeah. without that we can't learn of His of yeah. His gospel. Yeah, we understand what the Spirit, the Holy Spirit came down after Jesus became glorified, and then the Holy Spirit came down and dwells in us now. Do you believe that you have God in you? Yes. Do you believe that you have received and you've been born again of Him? I uh, yes. Okay. So God yeah. dwells in you. Sure. Believer. As long as yeah. yeah, as long as you accept him. Yeah. I mean, a lot of people can say that and reject him and live a dual life. But do you believe that God can leave you, or do you think he, once he's in you, you're sealed? With uh, him no, he. he stays it's him. it's not that he leaves you. You leave him. Okay. He stands at the door and knocks, yeah. but the door doesn't open unless we open it. Okay. So you don't you don't believe then that the only way we can leave him is if we don't endure our faith. Or how is that done? How do we leave him? By sin or by faith? Um, Not believing him anymore. Well, if we turn our back on him, it's the same thing as, as you know, leaving him. He never leaves us. Yeah. He's, he's always there right. for us. He, uh, even he loves when us. we're faithless, he is faithful. Sure. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's what it says. That's what the atonement's all about. Yeah. Uh, um, if it wasn't for the atonement, there's, there is no hope. So, do you believe then that there has to be one one religion to save you, period, or do you believe that everybody who who believes in Jesus? Yeah, are this saved? this is the big question, you know, is yeah. that, that one thing? And and the way I explain it the best is truth can be found in many places. Truth is truth, no matter where you find it. And all religions have truth in it. Um, I happen to feel that being in the church that I am, which is the Church of Jesus Christ, Latter-day Saints. I feel like the most truth is found there. Now, is it the only one? Um, God says, if you love me, keep my commands. Become, follow me, um, love me. And Do you believe that people outside of, I believe your 14 million faith, do you believe that those people who are billions of believers uh -huh. can have that same salvation as sure. you believe that you have without being um, involved in, in your religion? Salvation, okay. You have grace. We're all we're all saved. Um, the salvation, but, eternal life with you guys. Well, we're going to have eternal life either way. Um, no, I mean, to be being exalted, with God, being you, with God. Um, to there's different degrees of glory uh, of salvation, and the law of repentance is eternal. <laughs> Knowledge is eternal, and so we're always learning. We're always seeking after the light, after the truth. And I just happen to believe that the most truth is found in the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints. So you said being exalted. What does that mean? Um, it's, it's a higher degree of, of glory. Um, so you think God then is more of a... I don't, I'm just saying this. Do you think God is more of a discriminatory God? That if you don't do enough stuff... Um, and he'll give you like the lower kingdom. It sounds to me like, have you ever heard Titanic? You know, on the ship you have the higher yeah. elite and then you have yeah. the middle and you have a lower God, kingdom. God is that is, what it is? It's like God is not a respecter of, of people. Okay. Um, so then why would you think that he would have different levels of exaltation, I guess? It's, it's, different it's all progression. It's just all eternal progression. Uh, huh. it's, it's like life now. We're not all in the same place. Some people are further along. The more knowledge they have, the further along they go. It's like school. Um, so it's all based on knowledge rather than faith and love well, and, it's, and charity and hope and that it's and all going part of this. it. That's yeah. all part of it. 
So you really believe then that then there's higher levels of like learning. Like sure. If, if you yeah, go, it's eternal. If you go like with school, you have kindergarten to right. high school. You don't high graduate to college. Yeah, masters. You PhD. don't graduate and it's over. So it's, you, it continues. You think that God's like that? That he he sees those who might not want to go to PhD, or get their masters or whatever right. maybe that they'll be actually um, not be able to have a higher sort of a degree, I guess. That's sort of what we're talking about, degrees, education, um, when you heavenly think, degrees. When you think of eternal life yeah. um, and, and living with God, we're not all sudden all equal. We're all who we are today. I mean, everybody is, is learning. And if you think of, well, what about the people who are not Christian? Yeah. Are they damned because they haven't accepted Christ? Well, if that's the case, then why would he say, I'm not a respecter of yeah, people? Yeah. What about um, the Buddhists, the, the atheists, the Muslims? We just interviewed Muslims. a Muslim, yeah, today. The Muslim. we, we interviewed Yeah, Muslims. and so if, if God is, is who he says he is, there must be a way for all those people. Well, do you think God is the God of justice and, and mercy and that he will know the heart of somebody? Yes. He could test the heart before right. somebody would even know who Jesus was. Right, but he's and also he a just see. God. He's yeah, all, he's that's just why God. he gave us commandments. No, But uh, it's through his God. mercy and yeah. the, his atonement that that we are, we, we progress. There's, it's not, we don't reach a certain level and it's done. Yeah. Um, you think that it's, then in Christians when they believe that, um, you know, they're going to be with God, mm -hmm. meaning God, uh, I think sort of it worries me a little bit um, because in Christianity how we believe that when we know that we're going to be with God, we, we see God. Uh -huh. We don't see levels and so for those people who have these different levels of, of sort of belief in heaven, that says to us that if I'm not with my God, I'm, I'm in hell. Um, yeah, Does that no. make sense to you? So uh, well, if I'm not, if I'm not with way, God the Father, uh -huh. um, because I think I know a little bit about your faith regarding the different you right. know, levels. If I'm not with God the Father, which I believe is God, uh -huh. um, and God the Son, God the Holy Spirit, all in one, if I'm not with God the Father, then I'm in hell. Does that make sense? So yeah, that would be the worst thing. The, I mean, I, the, I would be in hell if, right. I don't, if I'm not with God. You create that, your own hell. When you think of what you could have had, um, had you just accepted, um, yeah. And then you get to that point where you think, man, I could be so much further along. Yeah. If I would have just learned this. So it's, hell is not brimstone, fire, damnation. Hell is, is in your own mm -hmm. life knowing that you could have been so much further along had you just accepted and believed and, and found out sooner. Yeah. Um, the, this notion of, of, of being in hell but you can understand that with your belief compared to my belief. That oh, yeah. if you have levels and you're stating that God is a God, you know, that you have to be this level in order to be with God the Father. Right. And if I'm not there as a Christian, which I'm hoping that's going to be the case, then in, in essence, I'm in hell if I'm not there. Sure. I mean, you, you understand if, if that. But if you think thought, about right? it, think so about it. So I think that's, is that a God of justice and mercy? A God of if, love if that I'm God, not able to be with if him? If he wants to be just, then he would provide a way for all people, not just Christians. Because to say that they're damned and they're in hell because they haven't learned of him when they die, that's not a God of love. Is it learning? Uh, that really makes us progress mm -hmm. or is it really the heart the circumcised heart that we put all our faith trust and love in an every day that really gets us to to really know who, who God is that's the question it's, is it's, it learning well it's or the same it thing really it's, saying it's I all love the you. same I, thing I am doing the more you, know, you the learn of love. him the more you love him yeah um, the better you fit in. It's like a little child. Well, that's that, what I'm that's, saying. That's growing and progressing. That's what I'm saying. I'm saying, so let's say you're you're following the LDS faith and I'm following the Bible, period. Mm -hmm. And your, your position is saying, well, I have to go do these, these, and this, and this, and this thing in order to progress and learn so that I can make it into heaven. And a Christian on the other point says, hey, I've given my life to God. Right. I've actually done everything I possibly could because I gave him my faith and I believe sure. in him. I'm born yeah. again of him now. And then I walk the road of, of faith and I endure with that faith. And I do incredible 
love of acts of charity, acts of love. Right. And I'm doing more things than probably a lot of people are. Mm -hmm. But I'm not with the LDS faith and the LDS understanding of doing those type of things. Are you saying that you would look at me and say, I'm sorry, but you still haven't done these things that we believe that these things are important. Yeah. You haven't done them, so you're not going to be with God the Father. <laughs> well, the, the, do, you the understand blessing, I, do you understand the, the difference beauty, that I'm talking about? The beauty about of it is God is the judge. He's the one that decides our reward, our yeah. kingdom in heaven, but which he goes to prepare for I, us. I agree, but I agree 100%. But in your faith, it says you have to go and do these type of right. things. Right. Straight is the way and narrow is the gate. Well, you know, I'm going to give you my understanding of that. Uh -huh. yeah, why does the gate narrow is the way that leads to eternal life, right? Why does the gate, there's a lot of people are going to figure out, well, what, what, you know, I'm going this way, but they're not really sure. Jesus says, no, Nero is the way. Jesus claims that what? It's John 14. If you want to, chapter John 14, Bob talks about that. He says that I am the door, right? Uh -huh. I am the door. Right. He, he so is. So we have to go through him and him alone in uh -huh. order to get, because there's a separation between you, the door, right. and God. Right. Right. Now, what and happens so, when you pass through that, that door? Are you done? Kingdom. Are you done? Yeah, we believe as Christians, it's done. But it, we so believe you that don't, he says, you don't learn anymore. You don't progress no, we, anymore. No, you know, we don't know. I mean, we're as, as Christians don't say that there's not going to be right. It's, a, it's laws, eternal progression. Further love, understanding see, that's, of love. See, that's and, what and I'm saying. Else. That's that's. But I'm not. But I but I don't say that after we go there that it opens up. You know, we're in the kingdom. Right. You know what? You know, I don't know if you know this. Revelations. If you just want to read it yourself, it's really fascinating. It's Revelation. I think it's Revelations. 19 or 20, 2021, 20, where it talks about the heaven coming down huh? and that this earth is going to be actually... A lot um, of symbolism. Yeah, no, it's really amazing. It, it talks about how it's going to be burned. Right. And so it's going to be burned and it's going to be celestialized mm -hmm. in a sense that you're going to have this earth being completely different. It's going to be taken out of its orbit. And then the holy, of, it's like the holy grail coming down from heaven. And we're going to rest. And do you know what it talks about? John talks about this specifically. It says it's going to be 1,500 miles Heaven is this walls, 1,500 miles up, 1,500 miles to the north, south, west, and east. And it's going to be all these different um, gates on mm -hmm. four sides. It's know, kind of boom, finite. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah. And it's like the Holy Grail. That's how it is, like the temple, the Holy Grail. And so it's going to be like that. And we're going to be living in it. It says there's not going to be any um, any daylight. I mean, there's, there's not going to be like night and day. It's always going to be light. So we're going to be living right. amongst God always right. uh, with his glory. Mm -hmm. And what we do there, you know, is something we right. don't it know. It doesn't end there. Oh, we don't know. Are we going to pray? Well, why would it well, end it there? Well, it does say that's going to end there. Well, it's... It does it's say. In the Bible, it that, says that's that. That you pass through that door, that's the end of... Yeah that part now you're but you have a part two on that i get that well, i understand it's, it's you have just, a part you have another it's, extension it's, a, it's an eternal progression yeah you right. have an extension that we're not going to be with god i guess at that point sure we i under yeah well we are with god but if this is going to be another extension to be exalted is higher level just of, just it's just gaining further a, knowledge to becoming a, uh -huh. a like I it's believe. like he says become as i am so well, how are we like ever going to become yeah. how are we ever going to become as he is yeah. without learning so you believe that you can become a god, um, and you can have your own. Well, for him, for him that's, to say, "Become core. even as I am," tells us that we have that ability. We are his offspring. Is that is that more of an interpretation, a perspective of how you've been taught, or do you think there's another I, interpretation? I, of I that? believe it as it says, "Become yeah. even as I am." I I don't see a, a different <laughs> interpretation. Well, I can interpret it. it become <laughs> even as I am, meaning I am love. I want you to love. Sure. I want you to go out like the stuff that I have done to show you a path wouldn't to give you, you an want, idea of Wouldn't you want your children to become... It. Well, I don't interpret it like with that statement, that, that little statement saying that I want you to become God. I don't, I don't really believe that. I believe that he says, become as I am, uh -huh. meaning that I am love and I am going out and showing right. you a path of love to go and not he's a, he's the prince of peace right he wants to go exactly. and have uh, people who are following him to be peaceful I don't think he's saying well I, you know I am because you know I don't know if you know Isaiah 43 it also talks about that God said that there is no other gods before me or after me right. I know not any and this is God saying this so we have to right. believe so, that or we yeah do not what he that. basically says is is Worlds there are many and gods there are many, but to us there is but one. 
we we worship God the Father through Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is the gateway to our Father in heaven. Where does it There's, say that? In the Bible. Do you know where that says in there? He, God I've is, never heard God, of that. What, you never heard of what? No, with a scripture you're revealing, I never heard of that. Are you sure it's in the Bible or if it's in your faith? I've that never, he said that, that the way to God is through Jesus? No, no, you said worlds says, are... No, no, you said the worlds... Worlds are, are many, many and gods, gods are, are many, many but yeah. to us, but there is but yeah. one. Yeah, where is that? We, is God that the Bible? is... It's in scripture. Now, you... The Bible is a collection of letters written by the ancient prophets. They are well, not... That, that's not true. There's 66 books in the Bible. Right. And, and there's... And there's, there's 14 letters from Paul okay, that were written. But they are all history of the prophets and, and the world and they're dealing with God. That's not all of them. There, there's many. That, that just happens to be how many got compiled. The scriptures are revelations given through prophets. That yeah. continues. God is the same do you today, that, tomorrow, and forever. Do you believe there could change. be false prophets? I mean, there's a lot of sure, false, prophets false prophets out there. Look at look at our president. How do you think? How do you <laughs> determine a, a true prophet and a false prophet? By their works, you shall know them. So, has there any? And what else? What else do you? What does the Bible teach us? Whether or not there is a true prophet or a false prophet? I mean, By their works, you shall know them. Now, the Bible also tells, uh, in addition to that, to tr to test a prophet, we go in Deuteronomy 18 perfect. Do yourself a favor, just read it. It's awesome. Because God was revealing um, to us that there are a lot of prophets out there. Mm -hmm. And we don't know uh, if a true prophet is a prophet or a false prophet. Right. Do we do we study them out? Do we make sure? Well, the Bible tells us this. This is what God right. revealed. Test them. God, he said test the prophets, but how do we test them? By their works. No, it's Look not by the works. It's not by it's the works. It's by what they... It's okay. what their prophecies and are. And that's okay. We can yeah. disagree on that. Yeah. I believe that the heavens are not closed. Yeah. I believe that God continues to speak no, to no, his children. No, that's fine. I agree with you on that. I mean, I know that you believe that. But what I'm saying, how you test a prophet mm -hmm. is, is what the Bible teaches, Deuteronomy 18. It says that we must look at their prophecies. Right. If their prophecy is false, if they have one prophecy that's false, God tells us and put them spiritually to death perfect example of that is this. You remember that guy camp, camping? He says the end of the world is going to come uh -huh. about a year and a half, two years ago. Right. Well, what happened to that prophecy? It didn't come true. It didn't come to true. And what happened to him? Uh, People left. Yeah. They go, your prophecy was false. Sure. So now we claim his as a false prophet. Right. That's really important. Right. So it's really, it's, I think for anybody who's looking at a prophet, you have mm -hmm. to determine if his prophecies are true Right, and what are his not. prophecies? Are they are they signs of of the world happening, or are they signs of teaching us to become closer and to know God better? Well, because I don't know. That's I mean, what a prophecy has been always is is it's about learning about God, parables, learning yeah. learning how to live a life of charity and, and love. Well, there's and, been a lot of prophecies, a lot of prophets 